so so private labels are uh, uh, the profitability uh, givers to these brands right like every so udan has a private label in ata now so so i'm just saying that yeah, private yeah, label yeah. to stay and uh, uh, the there's no there's no signature way to beat a private label but uh, you you want you you will it's a the same private label everywhere okay so for example when we uh, devise a strategy so amazon private label will only be available on amazon okay and uh, so, um, it, it it's not will not be available on the big basket this basket will be a different private label so 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 that's what the beauty of distribution comes in if you remember the five the five place theory which i gave the more you are available mm-hmm. in places you will find cognizance of that but uh, i think uh, uh, uh depends on what kind of uh, category i don't know about this category of what is exactly speaking of but uh, a lot of private labels uh, private labels exist in categories which have low involvement for example uh, big basket does a lot of bread dals pulses etc right like people know that the quality is okay they they can push their product etc but if you are in a very very category which is very high involvement uh, and uh, then the private label itself uh, will not they will not launch a private label in that category so i don't know the exactly the category if you can can tell me the category i'll be much more focused on the answer lalit uh, okay or oh, you do are we over time as always uh i think we can just stretch it if lalit is able to consumer electronics i think he's just replied oh, wow. okay okay consumer electronics okay uh, so and okay so i think so uh, i think we should i think uh, again my experience here is low but i can uh, i can i'm thinking of examples right now i think uh, both a bit the, more specific at phone same yeah yeah Bo- both of the classic examples i don't know how they did it like i don't know that category so well but uh, uh, they also must have faced some similar competition when we started uh, and uh, uh of course i don't know if you can beat them on price or beat them on product story etc but uh, uh but look at look at uh, uh, how outside outside the e-commerce uh, uh look outside e-commerce uh, uh, for consumer electronics where is it selling how is that market evolving uh, did both sell a lot of things on e-commerce or did they also may uh, uh, went to brick and mortar stores or some other stores where you can we don't have competition uh, so look look outside uh, the categories that's what i'll say like look outside the channels which can sell if you're facing a very tough competition private labels uh, because they will be here to stay uh, uh, look at any other blue ocean uh, channels that are not uh, not uh, currently catered and you can make a dent there but yes it's a, it's a tough it's a tough one because you are in a channel which is uh, owned by the particular player and they want to push their products so they'll always find a way to you know uh, deprioritize you and it can be a bit of uh, uh, you know not that uh, 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 your market money can be so more productive in those channels but uh, uh, look at look at outside those channels if you're finding tough competition you'll always find a channel which is much more profitable much more uh, open to your feedback right right i i don't really think there is a, a a proven report that has come out from any credible player about private labels and the kind of impact it's creating especially was from revenue standpoint and so on uh, do you have any uh, recollection actually of in any i mean especially for a marketplaces to be particular of a particular brand that really stood out as a private label i could recall like a roadster from mintra i don't know if they made a a sort of a dent in the business of uh, brands in that particular price point especially like in dinterain and the others and i'm not no, sure of it private labels have evolved uh, com- like see private labels when they t- enter india i think uh, mm. uh, they were used as a very cheap substitute uh, so what they learned quickly is uh, you should not treat a private label as a substitute but they packaged them mm. well they made the story more better and today exactly, private yeah. labels uh, are uh, touch uh, like they giving a very very uh, tough competition to good brands because they mm-hmm. the, uh, retailers uh, learned that uh, they have to focus on making a private label look like a brand first it was just a product you know when mm-hmm. you had uh, their own brands they looked really uh, bad uh, and uh, 
then they evolved it they evolved uh, a product marketing team in there so private label is going to get tougher and tougher if i say so because they have learned that you know uh, there's low differentiation if you can pro product package the pro products better tell the products to